The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. A nuclear attack was commenced against the United States. Fifteen nuclear bombs have detonated in several areas across the country. They include Baltimore, Boston, Chicago, Denver, Detroit, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, New York, Pennsylvania, Portland, Maine, Portland, Oregon, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to hear an address by Dr. Albert Einstein, world-famous scientist. The available weapons of destruction are of a kind such that no place on Earth is safeguarded against certain total, total destruction. is new Pepsodent. Get with it, kids. New package, new flavor, new formula, too, means brighter smile for me and you. Music for a money to, money to, money to. Music for a money to, grab cada lora your sunny. In almost agonized tenseness. Now, but five seconds to go, and... But you do want the extra protection of Band-Aid plastic strips. They take better care of little cuts and scratches. They stay put. Uh, we seem to be losing this cold war, but we might win a hot war. And they feel that the longer they put off a hot war, the worse their position will be. The U.S. Pacific Command has detected a missile threat to Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. I mean, there could be a nuclear war almost any time. In fact, it's kind of like a miracle that uh, we survived since uh, Nagasaki without a nuclear war. It's come awfully close many times. I'm really good at war. I love war in a certain way. There's case after case where uh, actions are being taken which increase the threat of nuclear war. And that's terminal. You know, nothing much is going to survive a nuclear war. Best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. We will be the most powerful nuclear nation on Earth by far. And that is that somehow Russia and the United States blunder into a nuclear war. An all-out general nuclear war between the United States and Russia would mean no less than the end of civilization. That's not being dramatic, that's not being hyperbolic, that's just what would happen. Nuclear is just the, the power, the devastation is very important to me. I want to be unpredictable, unpredictable, unpredictable. Environmental destruction, which is creeping along. You know, it's not like imminent and total the way a nuclear war is, but it's 
going to be severe. I think that there'll be little change here. It'll go up, it'll get a little cooler, it'll get a little warmer like it always has for millions of years. It'll get cooler, it'll get warmer. It's called weather. Uh, nobody knows the exact details, but everybody knows that the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. And it could be very severe. Well, I'm not a big believer in man-made climate change. It could be some impact, but I don't believe it's uh, a devastating impact. Uh, again, a lot of uncertainties, but all the uncertainties look bad. Thus, as of today, the United States will cease all implementation of the non-binding Paris Accord. Uh, most of them look pretty bad. So that's two good reasons uh, why the species is not unlikely to survive. Two megatons is the equivalent of a single thermonuclear bomb, one bomb with the destructive force of the Second World War. But there are tens of thousands of nuclear weapons. The missile and bomber forces of the Soviet Union and the United States have warheads aimed at over 15,000 designated targets. No place on the planet is safe. The energy contained in these weapons, genies of death patiently awaiting the rubbing of the lamps totals far more than 10,000 megatons, but with the destruction concentrated efficiently, not over six years, but over a few hours. A blockbuster for every family on the planet. A World War II every second for the length of a lazy afternoon. Ha, 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 ha.